What's up, everybody? Destin Legary here, here with Datto again. It's Datto week hey. on IGN. That's me. <laughs> that is you. Uh, we're looking for Zer today. So, uh, do you want to lead the way? Show where he's sure. at. Sure. He's yeah. He's he's, he's not too uh, he's not too stealthy today. Yeah. He's hanging out with the uh, the Crucible Quartermaster. So, what do you think he does in his spare time? Do you think he just like goes to a bar, like in the, all the strips? I mean, he's got so much money, he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> True. I mean, I don't know what strange coins are used for outside of the tower, but he's got a lot of them. So I'm in his menu right now. You can't see my screen, obviously. But um, what is the big feature item? Should be a pretty easy answer. Yeah. Um, icebreaker. Yeah. The weapon of the week. So uh, buy, don't buy. Yeah, that's going to be a buy. That's going <laughs> to be a very hard buy. Um I remember that the community was making up the fact that uh, Zer did not sell or sell uh, Icebreaker mm -hmm. anymore. They just totally made that up. Well, here's here's some proof, I guess mm -hmm. that yeah, he act was indeed made up, and it is here. It's a very good <laughs> sniper for PVE. It's absolutely mm -hmm. fantastic in the raid right now, especially for the oh, yeah. um, Crota encounter itself. You can snipe the the boomers, uh, just right. the knights in general. Yeah, super, super good. Uh, absolutely worth buying. Buy it now. I don't want to hear anyone so I, coming to me on Twitter. I didn't buy Icebreaker. <laughs> so you dummy. So I actually own Icebreaker. The question is, should I buy two more for my alts? Well, I don't think you need two more for your alts unless you really hate trading your gear over in your bank. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at it That's right like, now, fully upgraded. Because then you got to level them all up, and then and then it's like it's gonna take a long time. Like I'd rather just focus on the one, and level it up, and then if I have to trade it, I'll trade it. It's not a big deal. Yeah, um, that's a good point. I don't know. I have a lot of strange coins. I thought about it, but you're right. I don't really need it. Yeah. Uh, going back to the beginning here, we have the glass house. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this? Yeah, the glass house never been sold. You need the dark below to buy it for titans. Uh, 122 intellect, very, very good stat roll, pretty high. Uh, in fact, I don't think I've seen higher than that. Uh, looking at my stuff, 101, 112, 114. So oh. it's pretty high stat roll. On mine it has 113. Um, That's weird. Uh, oh, well, For I mean 122 house. maximum. Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry. Um, it's intellect, good. Increased melee attack speed, great bonus. Replenish super energy when you kill with a grenade, great. Blessing of Light, Weapons of Light lasts longer. I'm not sold on that, mm -hmm. personally. I think if this was, like, provides illuminated for Ward of Dawn, I might be, you know, I might be more savvy to it. Mm -hmm. But I don't think, like, getting Blessing and Weapons of Light isn't a big inconvenience. You know, typically a Titan will say, like, hey, I'm going to drop it right now. Yeah. And everyone just kind of gathers around it because they want the safety of the bubble as well. So it's not really a huge problem getting and refreshing those buffs in the first place. Um, like, and compared to Saint-14, I'd rather have the blinding effect of Saint-14, especially for something like the raid where there's tons and tons of thrall and melee knights and, you know, all that stuff just as an extra security blanket. So Saint-14 is obviously the one you buy if it ever is for sale again. Um, right. But what about yeah, if it's ever Glass sale. House? If you don't have an exotic helm that's 36 light, do you get it for your Titan? I would say get it. You know, it's yeah. not it's not one of the worst exotics. It's not one of the best. I'd say it's a good starter helm. Yeah. If, if you're looking for that first exotic, it's not like the bonus is bad, you know. It's just not super amazing. I bought one just because I don't have it. Um but maybe if, you know, people want to try and sell it more in the comments, maybe I'm underselling it or something like that, then, you know. But I, I'd say it's a judgment call. It depends on what you have. Like, I think Armentarium, Ruin Wings, Saint-14 are better. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have any of those, then it's it's not a bad buy. All right, moving on. Let's look at Accio Foliage Symbiote. Acclophage. <laughs> uh, yeah. Why don't you tell us a bit about this guy? So this has about uh, an average to slightly above average uh, stat roll, 112 capable. It's discipline also, which is good. Increased grenade throw distance, that's kind of meh. More super energy from grenade kills, that's good. And golden gun gets an additional shot per use. This is the PvP gunslinger helm. Yep. Extra golden gun shot, absolutely huge in PvP. Mm -hmm. It pretty much beats out all the other gunslinger-related exotics. Uh, 
I don't know how many there are, though. I think there's only, like, two or three anyway, so it's not like it has a lot of competition. And for PvP, or uh, PvE, you know, having that fourth Golden Gun shot tends to give you that little extra boost of damage that you need to finish off killing a major enemy. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, it's it's a very, very good helm if you like to play a lot of Gunslinger. Absolutely buy it if you're a Gunslinger a lot. Not uh, not much else to say on it. Good point. Uh, Obsidian Mind. I actually got this as a drop, um, but why don't, why don't we move on to that one and tell us about this helmet for Yeah, Warlocks. Obsidian Mind. This is... I'm I'm all in on Obsidian Mind. I think this is the best PVE Warlock exotic that you can get. Um, increased grenade throw distance, meh. Increased super energy from killing minions of the darkness, that's fantastic. Nova Bomb kills reduce the cooldown of your next Nova Bomb. In the raid, you're going to just be shooting out a million <laughs> Nova Bombs all the time in the abyss. Like, it's just going to be constant Nova Bombs. Mm -hmm. Uh, combine it with bad juju, and it's even more powerful. I think this absolutely beats out something like Skull of Daira Hemkara, um, uh, what is a uh, Void Fang Vestments for PvE. I think definitely all Warlocks should have this helm. Definitely buy. For PvP, like, if you're mainly a PvPer, then you can, you know, kind of stray away from it, but, mm -hmm. um, I don't think there's mainly... I don't think there's a lot of only PvP Destiny players. Uh, so either way, I would definitely, definitely suggest picking up the helm. Even though the stat roll is, you know, it's... The stat roll itself is okay, it's about average, and eh. intellect strength is not the best. But, sh mm -hmm. but Warlocks do gain a lot from strength, uh, at least a little bit more than the other classes, because they're, uh, they're very, very good bonuses. Mm -hmm. And energy drain is a great, uh, you know, buff that you get from your melee, so... And then, uh, you know, exotic shards. Personally, I like to have about seven of these on me at all times because you never know yep. when you're going to need one for an armor piece or whatever. So right. grab, I mean, even if you just have three of those, I mean. Yeah, whatever. it's just nice to, ha to just to have a few just in case, like, oh, I finally got this exotic ready to go. And, you know, you don't you never want to dismantle exotics unless you have multiple. So, yeah, there are only seven strange coins. Why not? Yeah. So another quick question. Um on upgrade on upgrading it just in general how do you feel about it should people do the upgrade system should they just wait for the better drop what do you think like if they have a max weapon should you upgrade it um well i mean it depends on how much you really like the weapon mm -hmm. uh obviously there's a much better chance that there's going to have the weapon that you want to upgrade yeah. as opposed to buying the item um I mean, we can look at armor, for example, right now. You can upgrade the symbiote for the hunter, mm -hmm. or you can just buy one. And the one that you buy actually comes with more discipline on it. So mm -hmm. I guess it's it's like, you know, do you... Ha First of all, do you have exotic shards to spend? Do you have the extra glimmer to spend? Um, I think, uh, like, ev even if um, Icebreaker was available for upgrade, I still would have bought it, because yeah. I have a lot of strange coins. Um, I think there. And, I think there's one that is an obvious buy. Upgrade your Galahorn. <laughs> oh yes, yeah. And it, it's been here for the past uh, couple for of weeks sure. as well. Um, yeah. The the infamous Galahorn. <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely worth upgrading. You you don't want to wait around. It's it's been around for like the past two or three weeks now, or or three out of four or something like that. Yeah. So if you haven't upgraded it by now, you're getting lucky because you really should upgrade this thing as soon as humanly possible. Uh, so just for fun, he sold Icebreaker again. Do you think we'll ever see Galahorn in his inventory again? It, I, it'll happen. Just, I don't know when. People make up this nonsense. Oh, it's so overpowered. Zer's never going to sell it again. Like, it's just, it's a 1 in 20 chance, 1 in 21, whatever it is, mm -hmm. of him selling it, you know. It's just, that's all. It's just a random chance, and he's. I don't, I don't see anyone complaining that he's never sold Thunderlord. Where's all the Thunderlord complaints? You know, I, I've yeah. got I've gotten three of those as drops. Yeah. Um, taking a look at the curios really quick. We got scout rifle telemetry, hand cannon telemetry, shotgun telemetry. Um, I feel like the scout rifle one's kind of good. You know, we're gonna be yeah. Especially when with the new weapons on the way, I'd at least get the right. first two. 
I mean, if you really need to get your shotgun up faster, sure, get one of those. These are only one coin, so... Right, so one coin for five of them. That's two and a half hours yeah. of of upgrades, so... Yeah, just buy one. Um, and then you have the plasma drive and the stealth drive. Yep. Well, that is it. Thanks for joining us, Stato. Sure. Where can people watch your stuff? Where can people watch your stuff, Dado? Where can people watch my stuff? Yeah. They can go over to youtube.com slash Dado Does Destiny. Mm -hmm. Got all my videos over there. And, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. And uh, you stream a lot, right? Yes, uh, over at twitch.tv slash It's Dado. I like to do my uh, raid night runs of Crow's End. I'm sure we'll be going to hard mode to end uh, in the coming weeks. Wednesday. Like do... That's exciting. Yeah, Wednesday. Very, very excited. Um, you know, in my raid group, like, I like to ch really challenge and torment my raid buddies. So I'll come up with, you know, ridiculous challenges like melee only in the abyss. Or you can only bring down Crota with Fist of Havoc. Or, you know, just crazy stuff like that. So we like to have, we have fun over there. Cool. Well, thanks for joining us, Dado. And, of course, everybody listening, you know where you can get more Destiny content right here on IGN.